Today we are going to be learning how to draw Daniel Tiger using simple shapes. When you get your paper, you are also going to be getting a circle tracer. We will set our circle tracer down in the center of our paper. We use one hand to hold it down. And then we're going to use our Sharpie to trace around our circle. Now when we trace, we're not going to go put our marker on the circle. We put it on the paper and trace around it. So I'm going to go slowly and carefully all the way around. Now when I get to my hand, I'm going to go on the other side. Excuse me, hand. And I'm going to keep my circle still and then finish tracing all the way around. So that circle is going to be how we start drawing Daniel Tiger's face. Then I'm going to find the center of my circle and go down just a little bit. Now we're going to draw Daniel Tiger's nose. We're going to make it a simple triangle, but instead of being really straight, we're going to curve it. Okay, so first I'm going to start with a V. To connect my V and make it a triangle, I'm going to make a curve up and connect. Okay, now I'm going to make the rest of his mouth and nose shape. So I'm going to now make a curve down and out, a curve down and out. Now I'm going to connect these lines so it's kind of going to be like a circle. So I kind of, I like to draw with my finger first so I know where I'm going. I'm going to connect and make it a curved line so it's almost like a circle, just this little bit is out. Now I'm going to draw Daniel Tiger's mouth. So from the side, I'm going to draw a curve down and I'm going to repeat that curve again. And now I'm going to make a curve the other way to make his tongue like this. Okay. Next, we're going to draw Daniel Tiger's eyes. And because he's smiling, the bottom of his eye, you can kind of see his cheek is a curve like this. So right next to his snout shape right here for his nose, I'm going to make a curve. Then I'm going to go on the other side and make another curve. Now above these two curves will be his eyes and they're going to be like an oval shape except the bottom is missing. So a nice big oval shape, another nice big oval shape. Now I'm going to draw another oval inside the oval. To make a cute light catcher in his eye, I'm going to draw one more small circle. Okay, this part we're going to color in this big oval except for the circle. Next up, I'm going to draw Daniel Tiger's ears. So these will be at the top of his head and they're going to be like half of a circle. So it's just like I don't see the end of the circle here. And he has nice big ears. So I'm going to draw one on this side and then another one, big curved ear on this side. Inside the ear, I'm going to draw a straight line and another half circle. Boop. Straight line and another half circle curve. Okay, Daniel Tiger has some cute eyebrows, so we're going to draw a little long triangle shape to make his eyebrows. Now, of course, we need tiger stripes, so here in the middle, his tiger stripes are, again, kind of like a long triangle. So I make a diagonal line coming forward and then bring it back. 
Now this one's gonna be smaller. Diagonal line and back. So these are like little V's. Diagonal line, back. So I have one, two, three stripes on his forehead. Then over here, if I go a little ways over from the cheek and connect to the side of his face, I'm gonna make another V sideways and go down a little ways and make another one. Then I'm gonna go across on this side and do the same thing. Diagonal line out and back. Diagonal line and back. Okay. Oh, he needs some stripes on his ears too. So here's another one and another one. They're kind of curved. One, two, three. Okay, now Daniel Tiger always wears a cute little sweatshirt. So now we're gonna draw his shoulders. So where these two bottom stripes were, I'm gonna draw a curve down all the way off the paper, curve down all the way off the paper. Then I'm gonna show that he's wearing a hoodie. So I'm gonna make a little curved V right here. And then I'm going to make a bigger curved V underneath. Then I'm gonna draw a couple of strings to show the ties of his sweatshirt. All right, then we need some whiskers. So I'm gonna do one big one, small one, big one, big one, small one, big one. All right, I think we are ready to add color. We are going to use both crayons and markers to add color. When I use crayons, make sure you are using crayons. And when I use markers, make sure you are using markers too. All right, Daniel Tiger has blue eyes. So we are going to color in his eyes blue. Whenever we are coloring, we wanna do our best and take our time to color smoothly and carefully all in the same direction. So this part of his eye um, the larger oval we're going to color blue, okay? Then we're gonna take a pink and use the pink for his nose. I'm going all in the same direction. And for his tongue, if you want to use a little bit of red on his tongue or his mouth, that would work too. That's kind of up to you, okay? Now I'm going to be using some brown for his stripes. Daniel Tiger kind of has more of brown stripes than black. So we're gonna color in all of his stripes with brown. You can also color in that half circle with brown and his eyebrows with brown. Just doing your best to stay in the lines and color carefully as you go all the way around to find all those V-shaped stripes and color them in. Next, we're gonna use an orange crayon to make a little bit of texture on our tiger. If you make little lines, it's going to look like Daniel Tiger has fur. And he's a cute furry tiger, so you can make little lines all over his face with your orange. And you want to push nice and hard when you do this. Don't forget his ears. All right, finally, we're going to use markers and water and a paintbrush to make it look like we painted our Daniel Tiger. Now, like I said, his stripes are brown. So we're gonna use brown and orange and kind of mix them together when we add water. So I'm going to go all the way around my circle with my brown. Notice how I'm using the side of my brown so it's a nice thick line. Also going to go around the ears here and around 
the circle shape of his snout. Then I still want orange to make this look like Daniel Tiger, so I'm going to make another tracing with my orange all the way around the circle of his face and again his ears. Okay, then we want to make sure we use orange by his cheeks. Make a few lines of orange in the middle. So three lines of orange here. One, two lines of orange here. One, two here, and one down here. We can also go ahead and do one line on his nose and this space here. So we don't have to fill the whole thing in with marker because our next step is going to be to add water to spread the marker. We're also going to take yellow, and we're not overlapping anything, and put that here on the snout as well. And one line of yellow by each cheek. And a couple in the center here. This is going to be awesome because now when I dip my brush into the water, um, I'm not going to slide it up the lip, lip this time because now I'm going to start to go in a rotating circular motion over what's white on the painting and the, on the, the drawing and start to mix the colors together. So it makes this yellow and orange make this lighter orange color. Now when the brown starts to mix in, it's going to make a darker orange. And I just keep kind of going in this circular motion until the color isn't spreading anymore. So once my brush starts to get dry or it's not moving like I want it to, then I can get a little bit more water. But see how much I got done without even dipping into any more water, okay? So make sure that when you go around ti uh, Daniel Tiger's eyes, you're super careful not to get the orange on the blue, okay? So now I'm gonna take another dip of water and start to make that circular motion over here. And I'm doing my best to go slowly when I get to the edges because I don't want the orange to go outside of the lines. So I'm gonna take my time. Okay, I'm taking my time to go slowly and carefully around his eye. Okay. The circular motion is what makes this mix. So if it's not mixing enough, then you get a little bit more water. Now, if you make a mistake and go outside the lines, it's not a big deal, but really work, do your best to take your time. One other tip I have, since your paper is going to be wet, is not to lift up your paper. Make sure you keep it flat on the table, okay? So right here, I noticed that my colors weren't blending. I'm going to add a little bit more water and move them around just a little bit more. But if your start, paper starts to get kind of flaky like this, that means it might rip. So don't go over that spot anymore once it starts doing that. Now double check and make sure you covered all the white space on your Daniel Tiger. And the last thing that we need to do is his red hoodie. So we're going to use red marker to just trace one line here, another line here and here, and the bottom. Because remember, once we add that water, that color is going to spread. So I'm going to get water, start to go in a circular motion. Now I want to make sure I don't get my red mixed in with my orange. But this is going to spread the color all around to make my Daniel Tiger. Make sure that your sweatshirt and all of Daniel Tiger's face is um, filled with color. If you wanted to add one little line from the red on your paintbrush to make his cheeks look rosy, you could try that or not. But there you go. That's how we draw Daniel Tiger with simple shapes and lines, then adding color with crayons and markers and water. Can't wait to see what you create.